This is my current bunker base. It's pretty bad. And is that a, a backwards wall? <laughs> Never mind. I'm here to show you how I transformed this entire bunker. It comes equipped with an auto sorting system, shooting floors, multiple auto turrets, and a cloth farm that produces 53,540 cloth an hour, which is fully automated. All of which is located here in my tunnel at N7. The current time was 4 a.m. in the morning. We had just completed a hard fought revenge raid in which we acquired all of the materials necessary to construct our bunker. As we were planning on where to start the construction, a timer appeared. This timer was broadcasted to every player on the server. Nobody knew what it meant. All we could do was sit back and wait for our impending doom. Are we supposed to do anything? Do we just sit here? What do we? Do I we was do? not expecting this at 1 a.m. Real? Bro, I was just about to go to bed. <laughs> She's like, dude, we're about to die. I hope not, bro. The hell? Nine seconds. <sighs> All right, here we go. Here we go. We had been teleported to an unknown location. We were all stuck in a room like a flock of sheep. All of our loot had been stripped from us, so we had nothing. We were then guided into a dimly lit arena by who we weren't so sure. Whoever these people were, they were in complete control. Let me introduce myself first. My name is The Creator. And one thing you should know about me is that I like to play games. And today, we're gonna play a game. Now, with some games comes prizes. And one of you who will be winning today's game will be winning a test generator. Now, uh, admins, why don't we show them the game we'll be playing today? Why don't you send it down? I will be running you over today. Your goal is to run around here and a lot of you will be dying here. So start running! A game of death was definitely the last thing I was expecting. And now, amongst all these people, I was about to die. The prize was a test generator. You're winning a test generator. And all these people around me wanted it. Why? Well, because this is Russ's most overpowered energy source. Because it's so overpowered, it's unattainable in game. Unless you buy it at Outpost for 10,000 scrap. Now the game at hand was a car chase and the game had only one rule. Don't die. I'm definitely gonna die. Where you at? Where you at? Stay in the corner. Ah! Come on, over here. Okay, he's coming for me. I can't. I can't see anything. I literally can't see anything. I'm right by you. Okay. What he's he's killed me? like 20 people already. Oh, boys. Oh. It's me, Swiper. Oh. oh, he's coming for you. Okay. Come here. That guy really wants to uh, wants to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boost, boost. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me up. Let me up. Please, please. please. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'm like up on a windowsill. This is, this is this is broken. Right now, me and a few others were in a pretty overpowered spot on the windowsills. And since Squid Game Man was in a car, we were safe. Now I wouldn't say I got joy from hiding, but it was sure as hell better up here than down there. Using the windowsill strat, I was able to make it into the top 15 pretty easily. While this strategy was great, it uh, started getting noticed. Uh oh, shoot, go away. Mr. Mark. Please, 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 pick him up, please. Oh my god, pick him up. Bro, other people are bringing him over here. Mr. Creator, you bro, why is this guy leaving? I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm so low, bro. Not, I'm not so hit. Low. <laughs> this guy's low. He's so loaded. Okay, this guy's actually- oh, Yeah, that's, uh, not good. Speed oh, I'm, I'm speeding I'm up! I'm speeding up! Mr. Moppy, Mr. Moppy, Mr. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, okay. come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you! Thank you! I just got saved. This guy kinda sucks. This guy kinda sucks. Whoa, who's saying I suck? Who's saying I suck uh, over here? No, not, not, not him. No. Who's saying that? Were you? Was it you? Was it you? Unfortunately, my friend who saved me didn't make it, along with many, many others. Some of them I actually knew and was very familiar with. 
But if I wanted to wield the most powerful energy source in the game, I needed to focus. Please come to the middle. No, come to the middle. Everyone. All right, you are the final contestant. Please come to the middle. We have our final contestants here. All right. Final four, take a look at each other real quick. Take a look at each other. There were four contestants left. Myself, my teammate Lone Egg, and two randoms. One of them I've actually met before. I'm dead. What, what, what? I'm getting rooted, there's a guy. Where, where? Uh, he has a pump, he has my AK now, he's full metal. He is running southeast, going towards bridge. Okay. Uh, he's running on bridge right now, I'm yelling at him. Uh, he has Bolty on bridge right now, I don't have any bags over there. Uh, looking at the bridge, I don't, I don't see him. Uh, he was going towards bridge, like Q2, or Q7. I see him. I killed him. Uh, he's dead. Alright, let's, uh... Now that you guys know who my grubby neighbor is, let's get back to Squid Games. Get a good look at your final contestants, because you guys will be competing against each other. Spread out your five seconds. Oh shit, <laughs> this is terrifying. Yeah. Bro, if I get hit with one, I'm dead. I'm sorry, I know I keep interrupting, but this is an important detail. Right now, myself and Lone Egg had a combined HP of 24. A sneeze probably would have killed us. But this wasn't necessarily a bad thing, because we had a strategy. We just stayed like the furthest away from each other because only one of us need to win. Yeah, he's dead. He's not coming back. He's coming for me! Super was Stay there, stay there. You think you're good? No, we can we can talk. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, so much for the strategy. Well, I'm gonna get you with the bat. Oh, I was so close. This is terrifying. Please. You're getting closer and closer. I've recognized your pattern. Oh. I've recognized your behavior. I've recognized your behavior. You're too predictable. Oh. And I knew you would go to the side. Oh my god. I'm dead. Haven, why don't you come over here, Haven? You're dead. Why don't you come yeah. over here and just get a good look at your final contestant? Look him in the eyes, and I want you to whack him with the baseball bat right now. Finish your teammate right now. He missed. He missed. You failed. You didn't kill. You I'm actually not dead. failed. He missed. No, no. <laughs> you missed. missed. You missed. Hold on, Mr. Maybe. You're gonna stand up here. Haven, come over here right now. Haven, Haven, come over here right now. All right, hello. The other, the other guy through. Wait, actually, do you win? Yeah, I think so. I you need to be the one to finish him now, because this man is a failure, and I will not have failure on this island. No, don't, don't do it, please. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I spared but, you. Yeah, you did. Or can't me. No. So. I'm so sorry you had to do that. Congratulations, you've won the first event. Now I'll see you at base. My god. We were on cloud nine. The best item for our bunker was just secured. We wouldn't have to use these small generators anymore. We literally have infinite power. Winning was great and all, but there was also a downside. As soon as this dramatic finish took place and he killed me, my name was announced in chat, meaning every person who lost the competition could win it. All they had to do was raid me. Just need to grab the test generator. Okay, we should be good. The necessary steps to completing our tunnel bunker are as follows. Step one, create a functioning power circuit. Okay, I think I'm gonna place the test generator up here. This should be a good spot for now. It's pretty central for the time being. Right now, all it's gonna be doing is powering the cloth farm. Okay, let's start placing all of the batteries. Okay, now let's start wiring it up. Okay, that is the cloth farm all set up. Now, we can start actually upgrading. Bro, we're making a compound in the tunnel. How sick is that? 
This is so cool. Look at that. Now we don't have to worry about our cars getting jacked in here anymore, so that's nice. We also might be able to fit minicopters in here as well. Uh, we did test it earlier. It was a little bit dicey, but yeah, we'll see. All right, let me see. How's it coming? Eh, pretty good. Okay, 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 okay. If you do it a little faster, I might give you a kiss. Ooh. <laughs> the next step was to start building the outline of the bunker. And since I'm a little impaired when it comes to building, I put my friend Brawlo in charge of constructing it instead. This is where TC goes. And upkeep might get pretty expensive, so watch out for and that. This, this is the loot Okay, this is the shooting club. Yeah, this is so sick. Uh, there's a guy. Uh, he's on the other side of the tunnel. My brain is way too fragile. All right. the shotgun trap? He's such a lane. Wall's gone. It's gonna push, it's gonna push, it's gonna push. But Why would he do that? <laughs> Let's go! Bro, he's so stupid! Stupid, indeed. I didn't realize it at the time, but it was our little friend from before. This further solidified that the targets on her back were bigger than ever. If there was a time to get this bunker up, now would definitely be the best option. Alright, now it's time to do the fun part. <laughs> All right, and now our base is fully secure. Our bunker was basically finished. All that was left was the electricity and sorting system. To finish these, however, we still needed a few components. To combat this, we decided to sell some of our cloth and buy components at Outpost. The reason why we could do this, uh, just in case you forgot, is because our cloth farm is fully automatic. Oh my god, we have so much cloth, dude. <laughs> Utilizing the full power of this farm allowed us to purchase the rest of the materials necessary to finish the main bunker. Alright, let's go home. Well, that's assuming if we could get the loot home. Oh my god, I'm playing like a fucking old oh, Warcraft gamer right now. Slouched in my chair, sitting all back. <laughs> Bro, what? Dude, I was like full on lean back, like oh, yeah, laying like, down. No, that's wild. Guy? Yo, 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 hey, hey. No mercy! <laughs> God damn! Let's go. I, I don't, I don't want to lose this, bro. Come on. I, I, I had to do it. Come on, let's go. I want my stuff back, guys. Whee! What do you want, man? What are your intentions? Uh, <laughs> Johnny Sin. <laughs> can, can I have my stuff back? Yeah, just give him his sorry back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We got off on the wrong foot and I apologize. Um, you know, I don't know what your situation is like, but would you maybe want to make a deal? What exactly was I talking about when I said deal? Well, with the near completion of our bunker, I had a plan. A plan to take our cloth farming operation to the next level. For this plan to work, we'd ideally need clients. And this unsuspecting solo seemed like the perfect candidate. I mean, I mean, I can be down to do a little trading if you guys are. I'll give you guys HQ. You know what, Mr. Johnny Sins? I, I, I would be down. I, I'm down for that. Yeah, let's do it. Johnny would be one of the first trading partners we'd come to make relations with. This was the start of an entirely new era. We we're about to take our claw farm to the next level. Hello? 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 Hello, hello, hello? Hello? Sorry, I downed you. I'll, I'll pick you up. Picking you up. You're getting picked. Would you be interested in buying some cloth? Cloth? Cloth. <clears throat> some cloth? You can do scrap, high qual, sulfur. We won't screw you, I promise. You have my word. Left hand on my ass cheek, I swear to God. All right, Mr. Brawlo, how does uh, how does this so work? We have stone, wood, and metal here, and up here we're gonna have kits and guns. This is probably gonna be a couple more hours, so you guys could just do whatever while you wait. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna 
Go do some, I guess, yeah. The sorting system was going to take a little bit longer to finish, and this was the final piece in bringing my cloth operation to its maximum efficiency. While waiting, we had some time to kill. So, we found this random dude who had just gotten raided and gave him a base inside of our compound. In a way, this little tunnel became a tunnel village? Anyways, by the time all of this was finished, Brawlo was done. All right, all right. Let me let me see the sorting system. Took man. a while to figure out, but uh, I think I've got it working now. So if you look at these boxes here. Oh my God, this is oh, this is so nice. We got stone, metal, all that stuff. All it's all it's uh, able to sort. So let's assume we're coming back, and we you know just want to quickly drop some root, some loot somewhere. So if you just toss anything in there, you know, anything what? that you can sort. Hey, that's actually that's real. That's actually. Sick. All these boxes are connected into one unit, so like it'll pull from each other. You can see if you look at the uh, top one right here actually it's actually indicating that it's pulling uh, the middle one actually I just saw let's see it'll pop up in a second yeah there we go Bro. This is so sick. With the sorting system completed, our bunker was finally finished. This enabled me to start the greatest cloth farming operation the game of Rust has ever seen. You guys haven't seen this yet, but uh, yeah, welcome. This is this is the garage. What exactly is this? Well, the idea started when I was watching Breaking Bad. Season 3, Episode 5, Gus shows Walter his secret meth lab underneath a laundromat. And well, that got me thinking. What if I had a I mean, uh, cloth, cloth farm. Hidden behind a garage. Now, this isn't very practical. I mean, how were we supposed to move the cloth back and forth? Well, since I had Brawlo work on item piping, I had him hook up these two boxes. So, when I need to move cloth to the front, I'll depot in these boxes and it'll automatically get moved into the garage. All that was needed were people to move the cloth. And luckily, I had just that. Hello, Aaron. Hello. Okay, let's get down to business. Um, uh, I've, I've seen you around these, these, these past few days, um, and I just want to know, can you be trusted? I'm, I'm a pretty trustworthy person. That's what I like to hear, Aaron. I heard that uh, snitches get stitches. That is true. That is very true. Aaron was my neighbor, and so were the others who were going to move my product for me. Now, each cloth run they do would generate around 8,000 scrap and 100-ish high qual. They'd be doing multiple runs throughout the day for me. High risk for a high reward. Although, it was only a matter of time before we had our first problem. Brawlo said that Aaron and the boys just got jumped. Wait, what? While Aaron and the boys were on a cloth run, Llama Guy, one of the tradees, ambushed them. He took the loot for himself. We could respond by letting it go and cutting him off from the supply. But if you're running a cloth empire, the number one rule is to not be a bitch. Um, alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here, here, here. Take boom, take boom, take boom. There's a perfect water rocket from right here. Yeah, we got main loot. Got main loot. Uh, pretty mid to be honest. I have extra. Some somebody else comes in. Kill them on the roof again. Let's, let's get out of here, bro. All right, let's go. Looking back, this definitely was not my proudest moment, but it was necessary. I realized on that car ride home that if you have something somebody wants, they'll do everything in their power to take it from you. The next and final day before wipe, the cloth runs continued like usual, and our wealth was starting to become very, very apparent. Without a doubt, we were the richest people on the server. Let's just hope it stays that way. Hello? 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 Hi. What's going on, man? Uh, uh, do I know you? Uh, I ape. I, uh, I, I killed you outside the outpost. How you doing, man? Oh, I didn't know someone lived in the tunnel. You got a cool base, man. Ah, uh, thank you, man. Thank you. You wanna 
Have you, uh, have you ever seen Breaking Bad? There it is! Lone Egg's monumental f up. Our operations were supposed to be kept secret, for obvious reasons. We had no way of knowing if Johnny's intentions were good or bad. All we could do now was hope that he'd get offline. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's top right. <laughs> oh my god. God. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of boom. And funny enough, there were a lot we were of bases. Almost done, we're almost done. It's all right. Let's go do another raid. Our wipe was done we had finished everything we'd set out to do. Even though it felt as if it shouldn't end, it was time to retire the tunnel. It was time to say goodbye. You've been looking for safety in places it should be, but somehow it couldn't be found. You've been thrown in the deep end, drowning in quicksand, but I know that you'll make it out. It feels like forever. They were good. 
I think we're good. The defense against Johnny Sins was successful. It was borderline terrifying and very hairy at times, but at least we came out on top. What was even better is that he was kind of cool about him losing the raid. Dude, I tried, okay? I wanted to have some fun. You know, last day of wipe. I needed to do this. Nah, Johnny, you're all good, man. I, uh, I appreciate the online, bro. Yeah. Despite what you guys may be thinking, I wouldn't be giving the base to Johnny. Uh, actually, I had someone a lot more special in mind. Hello, Sins. What's going on, man? In my old area, Sins was our neighbor, and sadly, we had to abandon him. I promised him one thing before he left. Once we get everything set up there, I, uh, we'll, we'll come back for you, dude. I swear. All right, Sins. Uh, do you want to see a... See a secret? Yeah. Go on in. Oh, shit. What the? Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, then you'll probably enjoy me making an automatic cloth farm. Uh, okay, bye.